I'm your host, M. LeBlanc168, and I would like to welcome you to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Neverwinter Nights is a classic RPG, uh, developed by BioWare, and based on the third edition of D&D, um, which is probably my favorite edition of D&D, because I'm the most familiar with it, and I've played it the most. Uh, I have the Diamond Edition, which you can get off good old games, um, now I think, yeah. Uh, it comes with Shadows of the Undertide expansion and the Hordes of the Underdark expansion. It also includes a bunch of, um, premium modules, as they're called, which are a bunch of, uh, community-made campaigns, which are a lot of fun. Uh, Neverwinter Nights is... Holds a lot of nostalgic significance to me. I remember playing it a lot as a kid, um, as a younger child, when it first came out. And it was actually one of the first games that I beat in its entirety. Other than, like, real simple games. Um, so, it holds a lot of my memory. We're going to be playing the original campaign. Uh, we might do the other ones later. But for now, we're just going to do the original. Uh, we're going to make... It has pre-made characters, in case you're not too D&D savvy. But we'll make our own. Uh, we will be a male, because I am a male. We will be human, just because it's kind of a generalist race. Portrait, uh, we're going to be a fighter, so let's find something fightery. That looks pretty fightery. Uh, maybe something with a helmet. Uh, no. That doesn't look horrible, but... Not exactly what I'm looking for. That's kind of... That's pretty fightery. But... I don't know. I guess that'll work. Uh... Is there something else? On? I'll go over it one more time. Guess we could just have like that. That looks decent. Like a helmet with a sword. Because we're going to be using a long sword. Or a great sword, I should say. Okay, that'll work. Class, uh, we're going to be a fighter, like I said. Alignment, uh, we're going to be neutral good. We we care that good gets done, but we really don't care how. Abilities. I'm going to crank both of these up to 10. Uh, this for persuading. And this so I don't have to play a stupid game. Uh, yeah, if you have a low enough intelligence, it does give you stupid options like in Fallout. But they stop being funny after like the second conversation, so. 10 intelligence. Uh... Crank Strength up to 16. Dexterity up to 14. And Constitution up to 16. Yeah, that's perfect. There's our stats. Packages. Uh, if you're not, like I said, if you're not too D&D savvy, they give you some, like, predefined characters. But we're going to make our own. Uh, we need Discipline. Max that out. Uh, lore is important. And Listen. Yeah, Listen's important. Okay. Uh, these are feats. They give you, like, special abilities. Cuckoo clock. Uh, we're gonna get power attack. Cleave. And weapon focus. We're gonna focus on... I wanna focus on a great sword, but then we can focus on something, like, ridiculous, like a trident. Huh. No, let's just do great sword. We'll just be kind of a generic hero. Okay. And now we get to customize our appearance. Uh, head... That's our facial appearance. It won't really matter once we start the game. Because we'll be wearing a helmet. I guess that one looks decent. Uh, tattoo. We don't really need any tattoos. Uh, we will be stronger. Clothing wise. Clothing doesn't matter because we're just going to switch out to armor like immediately. So just pick something generic like that. Skin color. That's about right. Right there, yeah. Hair color. A bit darker. That's good. We don't have a tattoo, so that doesn't matter. Attack, I say. First name, M. Last name, LeBlanc. Of course. Age 18, that's fine. Screw the uh, predefined backstory. Backstory. It doesn't really matter. But I hate that they give you one. Now we gotta pick a voice. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous voice ever. It makes me laugh every time I hear it. Attack, I say, attack. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Their time has come. Your end. Show them your steel. Now see what a true warrior looks like. Make this fight count. Uh, it will be your last. I guess neutral warrior is good. Yeah, that'll be fine. So now I'm uh so now I'm gonna mute my mic and I'll see you guys after the video. The frozen north. 
the name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, jewel of the north. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagonda. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city, a terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Aribeth de Tilmoran, Paladin of Tyr, and Lord Nash's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death and whatever sinister force might be behind it. Okay, so it looks like we're a student at the academy. Um, this is us. Oh, that's a ridiculous hangover on her hair. I don't know what the crap's up with our, like, our chest. What? <laughs> we have some double Ds right there. So let's unpause again. This is our room, apparently. Is our chest still ridiculous? Yes. There's our greatsword, though. So now we have some gear. That, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> just uh let's equip our leather armor and our greatsword and let's head on out there's someone that wants to talk to us apparently finally you're up i was afraid you were going to sleep all day i guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the academy mm -hmm. my name's pavel i'm one of the new recruits i just arrived here at the academy this morning yes i am i'm leblanc is it true what they say about you? That Lady Erebeth herself ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come here for training? Uh, it's both an honor and a privilege for me to serve Neverwinter. Yeah, that's a good answer. You're pretty modest for someone who's got such high expectations on him. It wasn't quite so easy for me to get in the Academy. Do I care? My brother Bim and I were working one of the nearby farms outside the city when we heard Lady Erebeth had put a call out for heroes to come to the aid of Neverwinter. We knew the city was suffering. But we didn't realize how bad bad things were until we got here. We arrived just before they sealed the gates and quarantined the city. Ah, uh, that sucks for you guys. Thank the gods I got accepted in the academy. I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with the plague. Not with city guards barely able to keep order anymore. Uh, let's ask about the plague. The Wailing Death is a plague worse than any record in the entire history of Neverwinter. The whole city has been quarantined. Nobody's allowed in or out. The Neverwinter Militia do their best to enforce the quarantine, but people don't like being trapped inside the walls of a plague-infested city. Uh, every day more bodies pile up in the streets, and the citizens move one step closer to panic and open rebellion. Can't say I blame them. It's only been a few months and already the dead number in the thousands. Uh, can't, can't the clerics and priests do anything to help? Yeah, we have magic. Most people have given up any hope of finding a cure for the Wailing Death. Potions and medicinal herbs do nothing, and even the prayers of the city of a powerful clergy have been ineffective. 
I guess that's why Lady Arabeth ordered the Academy to open its doors to new recruits. The city needs a hero. Someone who can save us all from the wailing, wailing death. <laughs> that's me, right there. The words on the streets is that Erebus is actually working on a cure right here in the Academy. But that's just a rumor. Probably not even true. Uh... Okay, I think it's time for me to go. Yeah, I guess you want to get on with your training. Well, good luck, Em. Who knows? Maybe the next time we meet, those rumors of a cure for the waiting death will turn out to be true. Maybe. Don't forget to say hi to my twin, twin brother Bim over there by the door on your way out. Twin? I just call that la lazy designing. Yeah, well, before we leave, let's loot this room and that room. Because this is an RPG, and we're the hero. It's good. It's all right for us to steal. <laughs> uh. To the armoire. Got some gold. Let's stack my potions. There we go. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to his brother over here. Bim or whatever. Yeah, Bim. I saw you talking to my brother Pavel. My name is Bim. If you want, I can give you a short tutorial on adventuring. Uh, I'm not interested in a tutorial right now. Suit yourself. You should go through this door and speak to Olgard. Then, he'll get you set up with all the equipment you need to finish your training here at the Academy. Okay. Let's head on through. <laughs> and there is Olgard. Why don't I have one of these uniforms? You know, like everyone, I've seen everyone wearing it. Should, shouldn't I have one? I mean, I'm a student here, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Hello there. Come to get yourself some supplies from old Olga, have you? Good idea. Can't have you wandering about the streets That naked. would work. <laughs> Might give the Academy a bad name. You're, you're creepy, Olga. City guards are already having enough trouble maintaining control as it is. Plague bodies piled a dozen deep in the gutters. The wailing death running unchecked through the streets. Horrible, I say. But you've heard all this before, I'm sure. Here, I've got some equipment for you. A fighter like you might find it handy in completing your training. He gave us a chain shirt. Now, if you're ready, I'll give you a tutorial on how to access your inventory so we can use the equipment I just gave you. I already know how to work the inventory. Uh. Oh, this might be a good time to teach you how to use the stores in the game. What game? <laughs> what the fuck? You might want to purchase. Since you're part of the academy, you get a special discount rate. Ooh. Uh, are you interested in seeing my store? I'll give you a quick tutorial on how they work. I don't need a tutorial on how to use the stores. Okay. I'm not one to go prattling on when the listener already knows what I'm saying. So you want to see my inventory now? Yeah. Great. I'm sure you'll find my prices most reasonable. When we're done, you'll find the door leading out. This room is unlocked. Okay. Uh, he is favorable to me. So let's sell my tunic. Let's sell my leather armor. Let's put on my chain armor. Sweet. Uh, now we have a, a shiny thing for our huge chest there. Um, does he have any better armor? Like some heavy armor, maybe? That'd be nice. Leather. No, that's the best he's got. Oh, well. That's fine. Sell the short sword. Uh, I have the weapon I need. So, yeah, let's just leave. Thank you for giving me a shirt. Let's head on to the library. Yeah, everyone has this uniform. Even even the, this woman and the guys that were new recruits. Where's mine? Hey there. You're one of the students at the academy aren't you unless I'm mistaken I'm Berna an instructor here at the academy if you like I can give you a quick tutorial on how to use your map and journal I I'm fine not interested well if you change your mind I'll be right here to help you out oh, is there anything else I can do for you goodbye I don't need to talk to her but of course we need to loot this room for everything it's worth book books are valuable more books. Let's steal them. Ooh, a charm person or animal spell. Okay. Sweet. Now let's go talk to this guy. It's about time you showed up, recruit. My name is Herban. As far as your worthless hide is concerned, you can ah, just call me sir. You can ah, just call me sir. <laughs> In a bit of trouble there. It's my job to teach you raw recruits some tips and combat techniques, so you maggots don't get gutted out there in the real world. Wait, you're gonna teach me combat? H haven't I been here for like a year? 
shouldn't I kind of know how to fight? Isn't that the point of this entire academy? <laughs> what have I been doing this entire time? Drinking? <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking. Okay. Well, recruit, don't just stand there with that dopey expression on your face. What's it gonna be? Are you ready to begin your combat training, or aren't you? Shouldn't I have started this like a year ago? Cause I'm gra I'm 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 assuming cause I'm graduating today. Assuming I've been here for at least a year. Shouldn't I have learned that a long ass time ago? I already know everything I need to about combat. I've been here a year. Come on. Is that so, recruit? For the sake of your hope, worthless hide, I hope that's true. But I'm going to give you one last chance to change your mind and listen to my tutorial on basic combat keys. Not interested. I've done my part. The rest is up to you, recruit. Time to prove yourself by facing one of the Academy's combat tests. Go speak to my assistants. Corporal Dandy at the southeast end of the room can test you in melee weapons. Then, for your test in ranged combat and missile weapons, speak to Corporal Hewitt over near the west wall. Okay. So, we have to go talk to these people to get some combat tests, I guess? Alright. I'm going to cut the video here. See you guys next time on Let's Play Neverwinter Nights.